A day after one of Russia's largest aerial attacks, at least eight more Ukrainians killed in new strikes. And as Kyiv claims its troops are still advancing in Kursk, a dire warning from the world's atomic watchdog about the nearby nuclear power plant. The core of the reactor containing uh, nuclear material uh, is protected just by a normal roof. Uh, this makes it uh, extremely exposed. Moscow says Kyiv launched a drone at the site. This woman says she's heard air raid sirens. Kyiv hasn't commented. An analyst says Russia may have targeted the plant. We had these cases in the Russian history, not once, when their security services have been doing some provocation, pretending they're terrorists, just to get attention and the consolidation of support inside of the country. Russia's attacks pummeled Ukraine's infrastructure. An MP says she only had two hours electricity Tuesday. It will be cold outside. I honestly don't know how we are going to handle it. It will be really tough. The attacks, not enough. Russia's foreign minister announcing the country is adjusting its nuclear weapons doctrine and the West is, quote, playing with fire. Ukrainian leader Vladimir Zelensky says the war will end with dialogue, but Ukraine needs a stronger position. And it has new, built-in Ukraine weapons. Ballistic missiles is those that are the most difficult for the interception. Unlike its NATO armaments, Ukraine doesn't need permission to use them. Incursion into Russia's territory, it's a huge boost of the morale. And when we are developing new weapons to be able to defend ourselves, it's a huge booster for the morale as well. A day of warnings, threats and death and still a peace plan. Zelensky says he wants to present one to the U.S. Shalest is pessimistic. Russia won't back down, she says. And now, Ukraine is preparing for an even bloodier, more violent war. Nathaniel Dove, Global News.